Hello everyone, welcome back. Here you can see I have a table that is called students and I have no data here. Now in this video I'm going to show you how you can insert data into the database table. To insert value into the database table, we need field so that from the field we can actually add value. So basically we need three fields, only student name, email and phone. Inside resources, views and here we'll actually create student field. I mean a blade file and that is let's say student dot blade dot php here we need a form so i'll say here html and in the body we need a form so form in the action we have to give here action and that's it and for the form we need some field and let's say input type should be let's say email and here we'll say name would be email and placeholder i want to add placeholder is equal to i want to say enter email here I need another div. This one should be text. This one should be name. Maybe we can actually say here student name. Student underscore name. Enter your name here. Or enter student name here. Okay. Student name. Let's copy this and go for another div here student phone number phone enter student phone here phone number here fine now if you open it we can actually see this but we have to actually create a route for this so we'll find route inside a routes folder and then web.php and here we are going to give it a route and the route should be let's say i want to say here that route okay and here we will actually use here a get route so i will say here colon colon get and here i am going to say that the url so the url will be student and from here we will actually return function that's it and it will actually return a view return view the view would be we have actually create here you can see student right to that that's it now let's say actually we want a submit button also right okay so here we need a button a type should be submit and name also submit we don't need any placeholder here we'll say value and value would be let's say add student add student so if somebody click here add student where it will actually go so it will actually define from the action and the method let's say post and in the action we have to actually give it a route so here we have to use blade syntax and here we are going to say route we haven't actually created the route so here we are going to say that let's say student uh, or we can actually say here add student right add student so we have to actually create a route now so we'll go to the web.php inside routes folder and here we are going to create a route so I'm going to actually copy this and here the method is what post so it will be a post route instead of gate we have to actually use here post and now we we'll actually create a controller okay and to actually control the student data 
so here uh, I'm, I'm going to give it a name at first so let's go give it a name I'll say name uh, should be this one so cut it from here and add it here student and here we need a student okay no problem and from here we'll actually will not return function will return a controller and the, we haven't actually created the controller so let's go for the terminal new terminal and here we are going to actually create the controller let's say student controller so we'll say here php artisan make colon controller and it would be student controller so keep it in mind that s should be capital and controller c should be capital okay press enter here you can see controller has been created so from the controller now we'll actually control it so we have actually uh, created the controller and we'll find it inside app http then controllers here again see we have a student controller so we if you want to access this controller we have to actually import it here so how now we can actually copy this or maybe we can uh, you know write for the good practice and that will be let's say app backslash http okay backslash controller controller okay backslash and now uh, here we have to say student controller student controller now we can access the student controller so from here we are not going to return a function i mean we are not going to write here function we will actually send it to the controller so that we can actually insert data into the database through the model okay so from here we have to say that okay now let's go for the tlb student controller so student controller colon colon class okay and here we have to actually give it a function name so here we will actually say add student or maybe we can actually say here add student so now we have to actually create a function called add student so let's go to the student controller and here you can see student controller and here we are going to create a function and that will be public function so public function function name and the method is post so we have to actually send here request r e q u e s t request and here we have to say dollar request why because we are submitting a form right so we need to actually get all the field value through this student okay. so as i mentioned earlier that we need models to actually for the crud i mean create read update and delete so now we'll actually use this student model to actually make connection with the students table we have in the database so uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to say here that i want to input the model at first so here i'm going to say use app backslash models backslash the model name is student so this app is here this app then models inside models folder we have student so mention it okay now we can actually say here that now we can use this student model and we will actually create instance of the student class so student is equal to i will say new student and here we have to mention all the field uh, column okay at first student all the column from the student table so let's go here you can see first of all the student name we can say here student name then we can actually say here dollar student then we have what student email then we have a uh, student phone let me copy this dollar student student phone i can actually now copy this i'm going to copy this paste it here let's copy this paste it here and let's copy this and paste it here 
and now instead of student we have to uh, write here request 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 done and here we have to give semicolon to close the line so basically this field name are same right field name are same here you can see field name and column name are same okay so now uh, we have added it now here we have to just say student save and now we have to actually return redirect back so return redirect we have to say back now let's check how it's work so go refresh here and go there and we'll say here localhost colon 8000 okay so why we can't actually reach there because we haven't actually run the server so to run the server we have to go for the new terminal and from here we have to say php rt sun serve to run the server now we can actually go to this port 8000 now if i refresh here you can see we have this now we know our url is student if i go to the web.php here you can see our url is slash student right get url to get the student view so we have to say here student if i press enter here you can see we have this field so email here i will say let's say yamin at gmail.com student let's say enter student name here it should be right okay so student name let's say yamin and then phone number let's say one 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 okay and if i click add student okay so why this error happened because we have to use csrf token in the form and i forgot to mention it so here we have to say add csrf token now there will be no issue if i refresh let's say yamin and the student name yamin phone number is like this if i click on add student it should be added we got sql error student name email update credit values yami okay what was the issue uh so this is email then student name and then phone number and we have email okay so here the thing is we should give it student underscore email because i have added here as student email here you can see and that's it so now refresh let's say yamin at gmail.com student here let's say yamin student number let's say one 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 add student if i click here it's added let's go to the browse here you can see we have the data we have insert the data so this is how uh, you can actually insert data in the laravel 12 i hope you understand thank you so much for watching